Alright guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over Code Forces round 632, a little Artem. Alright, so there's this guy named Artem and he wants to paint a picture. And uh, he wants to paint an N by M board, which is N rows and M columns. And pretty much he wants the number, uh, so he wants to print the, uh, paint a picture of black and white cells. He wants B to be the number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor adjacent by the side, and W the number of white cells that have at least one black neighbor adjacent by the side. So pretty much he wants to have a black neighbor and a white neighbor, uh, not not black neighbor, white neighbor. He wants a chessboard that has a black uh, have black pieces and white pieces, and he wants to pretty much just paint it good if B is equal to W plus one. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this by hand, and then I'll explain how to do it. So yeah. B is the number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor. So B is equal to num uh, number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor. W is number of white cells that have at least one black neighbor. So we want to create a formation such that B is equal to W plus one. So what that means is that number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor is going to be one more than the number of white cells that have one black neighbor. So this is actually not a hard problem. When does this case occur? It actually just occurs when, when you have all, all blacks besides one and then one white. Uh, the reason why is if you look at this number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor, what are the number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor? Well, there's this one that has one white neighbor as adjacent. Remember, we're only thinking about adjacent right next to each other. So this with the number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor, what is the, the number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor? Well, there's one, right? There's one here. So there's one. So B is equal to one because it has one white neighbor over here. Now, what are the number of white cells that have at least one black neighbor? There's one one here. So this is the number of white cells, right? There's one here. So there. So we'll count that as one also. But then we also have to think about the one above and they mean adjacent. Remember adjacent doesn't, adjacent is not diagonal, right? It's just above and below. So if we look at here, the above, this is B. The number of black cells that have at least one white neighbor, there's two of these, two of these actually. There's So there's there's one on the side and the one above. So it's actually one plus one, which is equal to two. And as you can see here, B is equal to W plus one. Yeah, that's all there is to this problem. You just, all you have to do is just put Bs for everything and then leave one white on the, on the bottom, bottom corner. And you could do, put one white on the top and then leave Bs on the, it could be either way. You could put a white on the top left and then put B's blacks on everything on the bottom. But yeah, just make sure the white is going to be on a corner. So yeah, that's how you do this problem. Um, I'll just show you the code now. All right, guys. So to do this problem, all you just have to do is just print out all B's except for the last last uh, corner. You just put a W. So what did I do? First, um, I print out all B's uh, for the row and column except for the last row because I need to print a W for that. So this just prints out all Bs for everything, not including the last row. So I loop from I equals zero up to number of, not including the last row, right? That Except for that last row. So N minus one, and then I loop through every single column up to M, and then I print a B. So this, and then uh, after that, I print out a new line after each column. So this just prints out all Bs except for the last row. Then for the last row, I print out all Bs except for the last column because I want that last corner to have a W. So I loop from zero up to M minus one, which is everything except for the last column. And then after that, I just print out a W and then a new line. So yeah, that's how you do this problem. Um, yeah, just rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, wait, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I didn't use any of these. I didn't use flip or I didn't use char D. Uh, you don't really have to. But yeah, that's how you do this problem. Uh, maybe I'll do the second one. I don't know. I have to look out how to do it. But yeah, I'll do this problem, the second one. And then tomorrow I might do a contest as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll check you guys later. Peace.